Hello, this is Jeff Lebo, and like many people lately, I have really enjoyed hanging out. Uh, I especially like using Google Plus Hangouts to stream live conversations in a way that other people who are not in the Hangout can watch and listen, maybe hang out in a text chat room, and that everything can be recorded and published afterward as a podcast and or a video. So what I'd like to share in this screencast is how I've been doing it. I'm sure there are other ways uh, to do this and some tweaks that people can make, but this has been working pretty well for me so far. Uh, I am on a Windows 7 machine. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 gigabyte uh, video card. And I usually use two monitors, which makes things easier. You don't need two monitors. Uh, and for this demonstration, I'll be using just one, but two monitors are nice. Uh, some requirements or things that you'll need. I use a USB headset that has this kind of USB uh, attachment where you have separate jacks for the microphone and the headset. And so I plug the microphone into the USB portion and the headset part into the regular speaker jack. Uh, alternatively, you can use a standing USB mic. Uh, and just plug that in and use a regular headset here. You could also use a USB headset and just uh, use the mic portion and then a second headset to listen in on the speakers. But this is pretty much a requirement to make it work the way I've been doing it. Uh, I will also be using Ustream.tv to stream it out, but you can use Livestream.com or Justin.tv or any of those. Um, I'm going to be using Audacity to record the audio portion of it. And normally I use Screencast-O-Matic to record the video, but I'm actually using it to record this. Uh, there are certainly a number of other alternatives you can use. Um, I just happen to be very happy with Screencast-O-Matic so far. Before we start streaming, we'll have to configure our audio settings. And to do that, I'm going to right click on my speaker icon in the bottom right of my desktop and click on recording devices. And this window will pop up. And you'll notice I have separate settings for the USB headset and for stereo mix. Now, if you don't see stereo mix, it's possible that if you right click and show disabled devices, then you will see it. Uh, if you don't, then what you might need to do is go to the manufacturer website for the sound card that you have, download some additional drivers. More and more computers are coming without stereo mix enabled, um, but usually there's a way to get it activated. It's not always as simple as it should be. In any event, in both of these cases, you want to right click properties and in the listen tab, make sure that listen to this device is checked. Uh, because you're going to be capturing both of these. You want the, your voice is going to be captured here and everybody else in the Hangout will be captured here. Uh, no major settings in playback, but if you uh, right click the speaker again and go to open volume mixer, you will get all the different audio levels for the different audio components on your machine. Now with my setup, I need to have stereo mix actually muted. If I Raise it up. <laughs> the echo. So I'm still figuring out why that is, but I need to keep that muted. It's important to make sure that your headset is not muted because that's what picks up your voice and you can see how I'm getting much quieter as I lower this. Uh, so you want that to be, you can play with audio levels. Sometimes you'll be coming in louder than everyone else. And so you can adjust that as necessary. In your hangout window, you can also adjust settings here. Um, nothing too complex here for cameras, set your regular uh, webcam. And for microphone, choose your USB headset or microphone and speakers. Sometimes this will say speakers, sometimes it'll say stereo mix. It's basically your sound card. It's one of those things that will vary from computer to computer depending on what sound card you have and, and how things are set up. Uh, so once that is set, you are almost ready to start hanging out. Uh, you can go ahead and start streaming by clicking go live or some services will say broadcast uh, and you'll get another pop-up window. And most of them will have this little Adobe Flash Player settings window pop up, click allow 
and close. Uh, you want to make sure that video and audio broadcast are both checked. For video source, you'll want ManyCam, and for audio source, Stereo Mix, it might say Line In, uh, it might say what you hear, uh, but some sound card thing that captures everything. And then in ManyCam, you can adjust which portion of the screen gets captured. Uh, and you'll click Sources, Desktop, Custom Desktop. And so this allows you to move and resize. You can resize this during a webcast. It's no problem. If you want to zoom in on something, uh, sometimes it makes it much more readable. But basically, you'll want to align this with the Hangout window. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start this Hangout. I'll uh, make it public and see if anyone stops by. But you'll have this as your basic uh, Hangout window and you'll want to uh, uh, adjust how you capture that portion of the screen. So normally I try to capture the very bottom portions and here will be the big head of whoever is speaking and click OK. Uh, so we've got this part ready to go. You want to be cognizant of audio levels. If the Ustream is too is peaking too much, you can lower it here. You can also go back to your audio levels here and adjust things. Uh, and it's worth spending a moment or two before you start recording to make sure that different people's audio levels are at a comparable level. Uh, so that is ready to stream. I'll go ahead and start streaming here. And if uh, you want to record, you can also click the Start Record. And this will save it as an FLV file, and it will also host it on your streaming provider like Ustream. Uh, so that's being recorded. Now, if I want to record separately on Audacity, I first want to make sure that I'm going to be recording the right audio. And so I'm going to go to Devices, and again, select Stereo Mix, and you can choose Mono or Stereo, and press Record. And so that should be getting audio from myself and from the Hangout. So that should be enough to uh, get you started, or at least get you started being confused. Um, the one component that is not being shown right now is the video recording part. Uh, and again, that's because I use Screencast-O-Matic, uh, and I'm actually using that to record this. Uh, so perhaps I'll make a separate screencast on uh, using that. But uh, for now, that should be uh, it for hanging out. Again, I'd love to hear other approaches or ideas or tweaks on how to, to do all this differently and or better. So um, thanks for listening and have a great time hanging out.